No one wants to get the flu, right? But not all doctors agree on whether a flu shot is for everyone. Joining me now is Dr. Clark Hansen from the Hansen Clinic of Natural Medicine to explain. Okay, you've opened up a Pandora's box. Should we? I Shouldn't know. we? You say the flu shot is not for everyone. Well, it's a real concern. Mothers are worried. They should right. be worried because this flu vaccine contains mercury and two-thirds of the vaccine that's going to be administered this year. It's going to, there's 146 million doses prepared this year. That's double the amount that we had available in 2002. So the CDC keeps recommending more and more people get the vaccine. Initially, it was recommended just for people age 65 and older or the very young infants right. whose immune systems are weaker. The truth is, you know, five to, only 5 to 20% of the population gets the flu. So that means that 80 to 95% of the population in America doesn't get the flu every year. So the key is your immune system, having a healthy immune system. So that's what I like to emphasize. And then there's these side effects we worry about with the flu. This mercury is a neurotoxin. It's going to be in two-thirds of, of the vaccine this year. And I just talked to someone who just, one of our moms said she got the vaccine. And that's, you know, that is, she doesn't know if it has mercury in it, but she knows she has a high level of mercury. She's been tested. So that's, it's a neurotoxin. Mm. And we give it to small children. What's that going to do in the long term? We don't know. But there's also some short-term side effects that we worry about with, with, the, with the flu vaccine. So we want to talk about all those things, but okay. I want to really help people understand the body's the real healer. And so there's some natural things you can do to prevent the flu, nutritionally, herbally, and homeopathically. So there is ways to actually prevent right. getting the flu. Let's first take a look at symptoms, I guess, okay. of the flu, because I think a lot of people wonder, am I sick? Is you it, tell? you know, Do I have a sinus infection? Do I have a, just a bad cold? So you've got some things here. Right. Fever would be the one I guess I would look for the most, right? Fever and chills with the flu. It's a sudden onset. It, just it comes you. on quickly, and you've got fever with chills. It's, you know, you feel pretty severe. Body aches and soreness. That's one of the key things. You have these total body aches all over. And then you can get headache, extreme tiredness, sometimes a dry cough, sometimes not a cough. But mainly it's that sudden onset, fever and chills, and, and soreness all over. And if you have the flu, you're going to know it, right? It's not the, my child who's walking around with a cough and not feeling great. Right. He's going to be miserable. The difference is, let's look at those symptoms for the cold, okay. because it's a gradual onset. It starts out with sneezing. They really don't feel that bad, but they've got sneezing or, you know, runny, stuffy nose. It kind of oh, alternates. Yeah. Then after a few days, you start to get that congestion head congestion, you feel more tired, it kind of drags on. Right. So that's, the, the, that's what everybody's got right now. Can that turn into the flu? No, it can't. can't. It's a totally different virus. And we have, don't have any cases of the flu yet in Arizona. Um, typically, it peaks between November and May, okay. usually February, and Arizona it's usually later. Last year, 95,000 95, suspected cases of the flu that were reported, only 11% of them were actually the flu. So most you know, people go to the doctor think they've got the flu. 90% of them are not. It's just a cold that's, virus. That's bizarre. So how do you know what to do as a, a mom at home? Right. This is what I recommend. This is a product I formulated called Phytobiotic. Phytobiotic. So it's a plant, life-giving, immune-boosting formula. So it has several herbs in it that actually stimulate the body's immune system to fight the flu, the cold. It can be used for colds, flus, sore throats. One of the key in, uh, ingredients in there is elderberry. Elderberry is a beautiful fruit. Kind of looks like a cross between a cherry and a blueberry. Uh -huh. It's a black, deep black fruit, and it has these bioflavonoids that actually coat the virus and prevent the virus from spreading throughout the body. So if you take it as a prevention, you can actually prevent that virus from getting in your body and spreading. Okay. It, ha it blocks an enzyme called neuraminidase, which is the same enzyme that's blocked by the drug oseltamivir, which is commonly known as Tamiflu. And that's the drug that the United States is stockpiling to protect against the pandemic flu that might eventually hit, the bird flu if it mutates. Right. These are scary things, but there's a natural thing. And actually, the drugs are mostly copied from things in nature, like elderberry. It, it sounds like what you're saying is the, str the stronger your immune system is, obviously, the less chance of getting sick. Right. But with my kids, what are some of the things I could do? Because I, I, I remember you reading somewhere, obviously, nutrition, that sugar can actually... Sugar is amazing. Sugar, 100 grams of sugar will suppress the immune system by 50% wow. within 30 minutes and last for five hours. So, you know, a candy bar and a soft drink, and they've got 50% less immune resistance, and that lasts for five hours. And they eat another candy bar and a soft drink or something else with 100 grams of sugar. So we're, America's chronically immune suppressed by 50%. Wow. So that's the best thing to stop. Eat five servings of fruits and vegetables every day. Keep hydrated. 
and make sure you get enough sleep. Sleep, if you're deprived, you get less than seven, seven and a half hours of sleep, you are going to be immune suppressed. You're opening yourself up to that stuff. Yeah. And one last thing, too, you talked about Two this. this is great. If you do have the flu, yeah. I've used this. This is amazing. This is a, the number one flu remedy in France. 30 million people use it every year, and it can stop the flu like in half an hour. I've taken it myself, prescribed it to all my patients, and dramatic results. This one, however, is the one that's the prevention one. This is called Influenzinum. It's a homeopathic remedy that's been used for 50 years in France. They've tested it and found that orally, this is the same combination as the vaccine, the, the shot, has the same three viruses every year. They change it, but it's given orally without the mercury, right. and it reduces, it's been shown to be 90% effective. All right. Good information, Dr. Powerful Hansen. Things. Really good, especially this time of the year. And if you want more information about the Hansen Clinic of Natural Medicine, you can reach Dr. Hansen by going to drhansen.com or call the number right there on your screen.